Good evening and welcome to the channel's studios here in London with your international news around the world in five. People in China who attended weekend protests against COVID restrictions say they have been contacted by police as authorities begin clamping down. Several people in Beijing said police had called demanding information about their whereabouts. It is unclear how police might have discovered their identities. Planned protests in Beijing did not happen on Monday night after officers surrounded the assembly points. In Shanghai, large barriers were erected along the main protest route and police made several arrests. Over the weekend, thousands in China took to the streets demanding an end to COVID lockdowns, with some even making rare calls for President Xi Jinping to stand down. Protests against the Chinese government are rare. Britain's foreign minister said the Chinese government should take notice of protests against its strict zero COVID policy and restrictions on freedoms. It's clear that the Chinese people themselves are deeply unhappy with what is going on about the restrictions imposed upon them by the Chinese government. Uh, these are the voices of Chinese people talking to their government, and I think it's right that the Chinese government listens to what those people are saying. NATO's chief says Russia's Vladimir Putin is using winter as a weapon of war in Ukraine and that Moscow is increasing waves of brutality. Welcome uh, to all of you. Welcome to this uh, meeting. Speaking ahead of a meeting of NATO foreign ministers in Bucharest, Jens Stoltenberg said NATO allies were sending supplies and working to rebuild Ukraine's infrastructure. At the meeting, NATO foreign ministers focused on increasing military assistance for Ukraine, such as air defense systems and ammunition. Uh, we have delivered uh, generators, we have uh, delivered spare parts, uh, and, uh, and allies are in different ways helping uh, to rebuild <coughs> the destroyed infrastructure. Meanwhile, a delegation from Ukraine has attended a meeting of justice ministers from the G7 countries in Berlin to discuss improving cooperation on war crime probes. Ukraine is pushing for a special tribunal to prosecute Russian war crimes, with the EU signalling it was open to the idea. German Justice Minister Marco Bushman said the aim was primarily about cooperation in securing evidence and avoiding duplication of work. We, as Ukrainians, we understand that the crime of aggression as a primary crime, primary war crime committed by Russian Federation should be punishable. Hawaii's Mauna Loa, the world's largest active volcano, has begun erupting for the first time since 1984, ending its longest quiet period in recorded history. Hot lava spewed out of the volcano's summit at around 11.30 p.m. local time. The lava is currently contained within the summit and does not threaten Hawaiians living downslope. The service warned residents that volcanic gases and fine ash may drift their way. Mauna Loa is part of the chain of volcanoes that formed the islands of Hawaii. It last erupted in March and April of 1984. Tourists in Rome have been treated to a touch of British grandeur in an unlikely location as the Royal Navy Band played outside the Colosseum. The band, composed of 30 members in full ceremonial uniform, played improvised pieces from a rich musical repertoire as well as, of course, the Italian and British national anthems. Organised by the British Embassy in Italy, they performed near the Arch of Constantine on Colosseum Square, a unique setting that provided the backdrop for songs by Army of the Nile, Invincible and Men of Music, in the presence of the British Ambassador to Italy. And a bicycle pedalled by passers-by has been powering up a Christmas tree-shaped light installation in Budapest as the mayor there applies sustainable technology to celebrate the festive season. In order to save on surging energy costs, the tree only lights up fully while someone keeps pedalling really hard, which encourages families with their kids to stop by and give it a try. The bicycle also charges a battery that, along with solar panels, powers up the rest of the lights around the Budapest Square. And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the channel's studios in Lagos.